So now we jump into our favorite topic of the day, our favorite uh, basketball player in the world. That is the one, the only Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese both made the all-star team. What are your thoughts? They, uh, Caitlin Clark was the number one overall vote getter for popular vote. Oh, wow. In the, in the WNBA. Wow. She was. Caitlin? She was yes, she was. No, no it was no, not. not. The popular vote was yeah. the, the popular vote. Number mm-hmm. one was Caitlin Clark. Number yeah. two was Aaliyah Boston. Number three was Asia Wilson. Yep. Um now I don't know what that final vote was when they include the players and media, mm-hmm. but it'd be really hard pressed to tell me that Caitlin Clark is probably not in the top three. Yeah. Um maybe Asia Wilson passed her, but the thing is the the, the, the fan vote is 50%. So <clears throat> And even the hating haters in the league that cannot stand Caitlin Clark, it's hard to sit here and say that they wouldn't have voted her knowing what they're, how they're defending her to keep her from embarrassing them. What are your thoughts on these two ladies making the All-Star team? Man, cool, man good job for these two ladies, man. They came, in, um, they came in with a lot of pressure on their shoulders to, to bring what they brought to the um, college game, to the WNBA. And so far, they're both seceding. Um, Angel Reese has been on a double double machine, even though a lot of them are offensive rebounds. But lately, they've been defensive rebounds also. I mean, she's getting 14, 15, 18 boards. She's finding that as her niche. She's um, she's at um, she's Hartenstein, man. She's Hartenstein of the of the WNBA, man. She's gonna attack the board. She's gonna attack the glass, and she's doing it at a freaking excellent, you know. At an excellent mark right now. She's every game. She's bringing that effort, that dog, that rawness every night, man. And she deserves the All Star vote. Um, Caitlin Clark, on the other hand, um, she's a triple double machine. She's well, a cl- near triple double machine every night. Um, she's out there. She's getting 10, 12, 13 assists. I think she's third in the league in assists now. She's slowly creeping at two and um, for Thomas at one. Um, and as a rookie. That's just tremendous numbers all around. I think she's averaged 17 points a game. Her field goal percentage is going up. Um, she's getting five, six rebounds. She's getting a block a game. She's getting damn near 1.5 steals a game. So all her numbers all around with how she's being guarded, it just shows that she's an all-star talent because she's getting guarded 85 feet down the court. I'm tired of saying it, and I don't, I don't see how people don't understand this. There was a clip where – there's a clip. There's a clip where a girl was shooting free throw. She had two free throws. She shot the first one. And she went to go deny, she went to go deny Caitlin Clark the ball. And the referee's like, um, ma'am, Miss Ma'am, you have another free throw. Oh, my bad. Let me shoot this one. And that's how scared that these players are of Caitlin Clark and her impact on the game. Now, they're not getting enough wins right now, but you could just see her impact. And she had a couple of other players with her that could roll with her. Um, I like Mitchell. She could play basketball, but her and Caitlin just don't coexist the way I would like them to co- coexist. Mitchell should be driving. She should be looking for Caitlin. Just like Caitlin drives and she looks for Mitchell, that's how they should be working together. And I just don't get that from Mitchell. I see like Mitchell get the ball and it's just, okay, I got to go get it. When I get it, nobody else matters. It's all about me. And then Caitlin and Aaliyah have been, you know, progressing. But all in all, um, just come to say it, it's, it's good. It's a good thing for the league that both of these players are in there. Um, they bring in a lot of fans to the league, a lot of eyes, a lot of new eyes, new fans. Me, hey, I'm here. Rudy, hey, he's here. Um, we're paying attention. We're looking at the schedule. Like as a man, usually around this time is dead period. There's nothing to watch on TV, and I actually look forward now. I, I look forward to, hey, when does um, when does Caitlin play, or even when does Reese play? And I might even catch a couple other teams playing, but these two rookies have been sensational. They brought our eyes, they brought viewership, and they've been backing up their shit on the court. Thank you.